What influences your behavior, and how do you go about changing someone? The Gospel of Jesus Christ is all about a God who loves us dearly and who shows us how much he loves us by sending his Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins. In fact, reflecting upon this stupendous event, the, the uh, Apostle John says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the children of God. When God wanted to change our hearts, he loved us so much that he sent us his son. I think of the um, story of the, of the lady who was married to a very demanding husband. And every day before he left for work, he would leave a, a post-it note on the refrigerator, a to-do list of all the things he wanted her to accomplish that day. As she looked at that list every day, it just sent ice water down her veins because it was such a, a demand list and it was annoying and it uh, didn't make her have any good feelings toward him at all. In the course of time, after a number of years, this husband died. And several years later, she met another uh, man and they fell in love and were married. And he was totally unlike the first husband. He was very loving. There was never any to-do lists. She found herself in a very joyous and fulfilling relationship. One day she was up in the attic cleaning out some old boxes and um, she uh, was going through mementos from past years and suddenly noticed that uh, there was a stack of old post-it notes that she had saved, the list of demands that her first husband used to make of her. And again, ice water ran through her veins as she looked at those lists and remembered all the the hard edges of their relationship, the demanding, controlling relationship that her first husband had imposed upon her. After she calmed down, she began to go more carefully through the lists of the things that she was supposed to have done for her first husband. And as she evaluated what he was asking her to do, she began to realize that all those things that her first husband had demanded that she do, most all of them she was doing for her second husband joyously without even being asked. She was living in a relationship, not a relationship of control and demand, but a relationship of love and response. And because it was a relationship of love and response, she was gladly responding with her heart and sensitive to the desires of the one she loved. In the same way, God has come to us, not with a cold list of demands, but with a great heart of love. And when we realize that heart of love, we respond to God, not out of a sense of keeping a bunch of rules. Oh, yes, we'll keep the rules, the commandments. But we do so not because of the rules themselves, but because of the God who loves us, because we want to please him, and because we're so deeply in love with the one who has loved us. Jesus Christ has come into life to give us life, not to give us a set of rules, but to give us life, and to give us life more abundantly.